फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट आई हैव बीन डीपली मूड द वे यू हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड मी बट दिस विजिट ऑफ माइंड हैज बीन अ विजिट विच विल गो डाउन इन माई माइंड एज द मोस्ट मेमोरेबल इवेंट एवरीवेयर आई वेंट राइट फ्रॉम द प्रेजिडेंट टू द हाउस ऑफ कांग्रेस एंड नाउ टू दिस मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट द नेशनल प्रेस क्लब इज आई हैव रिसीव्ड एंड आई फेल्ट दैट आई एम इन द कंपनी ऑफ वेरी इंटीमेट फ्रेंड्स एंड आई नो दैट इज अ ट्रिब्यूट नोट टू मी पर्सनली बट टू द कंट्री दैट I represent an India that is now trying to seek its social and economic salvation in the framework of an open society and an open polity so I thank you very much for this very warm welcome of course it is an understatement that i am absolutely delighted to join you this afternoon i know something about the great weight that the national press club enjoys in the world of journalism that you have done me this honor i am most grateful to you for this i thank you for this invitation to share my thoughts on our country's hopes aspirations and the challenges we face and now working together india and america can help us to meet those challenges so that in the process we begin a new chapter in the history of indo american relations i would like to share with you my perceptions of this very significant visit to the united states my discussions with president the members of his cabinet and with members of the us congress have convinced me that on the journey we have embarked upon towards a future of hope for our people america would be both a friend and a very important partner india is today poised for a leap to a brave new world a sustained growth of over 6% per annum for the last 15 years now reaching 7% per annum is fundamentally transforming our economy and our society its social consequences are visible in rising income levels growing expectations and in the rising demand for quality products and services this transformation has unleashed a powerful surge of entrepreneurship creativity and a desire for excellence our growing involvement with the global economy and society 
expanding foreign trade reputation for services and activities of our world class firms are one facet of this change that is now sweeping our country we strive to address the needs of every citizen ensuring their education and well being and giving them a decent livelihood on every score their demands rise as each others achievements become the benchmark for forward movement the next time basic needs of all have to be met even as more ambitious hopes of the aspiring are realized sustaining growth impulses has to be accompanied by policies aimed at ensuring that change is sufficiently inclusive and benefits of development are indeed available to all our citizens in the past our ties with the united states have benefited india greatly yesterday when i addressed the members of us congress i recalled with gratitude the contribution that the united states had made in ushering in the green revolution in our country the cooperation between american land grant colleges and our institutions of research in agriculture gave rise to that phenomenon of miracle of new wheat seeds which made it possible for our agriculture to grow phenomenally since the mid 60s i thank america for that we now seek to build on that past tradition of working together while forging a new partnership with the united states this new partnership is focused on greater business to business interaction cooperation in the field of energy in agricultural research and agri business in new technologies in educational networking and in building new frontier science capabilities the 21st century probably will be a knowledge intensive century india and the united states can be very valuable partners in the management and ushering in of the new knowledge society that is on the horizon much of my discussions with president bush were devoted to what the india us relationship had to offer in the fields of infrastructure energy and in the field of knowledge creation i believe that american interests are well served by a stronger and more modern indian economy many of the initiatives that we announced yesterday on agricultural research on nano science or on innovative technologies reflect this shared belief of the president and myself i am convinced that steps that we have taken will lead to a long term partnership between india and the united states to our great mutual benefit access to energy resources is an issue of particular importance to our relationship 
and our newly constituted energy dialogue is focused precisely on this issue our current dependence on hydrocarbons will have to be diversified in favor of a broader energy mix i discussed with the president prospects for the resumption of our cooperation on civilian nuclear energy the united states i believe is not only cognizant of our energy requirements but appreciative of the role of india stop